Thank you, Christopher. And now in other news. Come March 1st, farmers and fisher folk will have access to a group health and life insurance plan. Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Floyd Green, who made the announcement during today's sitting in the House of Representatives, expressed the importance of farmers and fisher folk having access to these plans, which will be implemented by the Sajikor Group. Come March 1st, 2021, the hardworking farmers and fisher folk of our country will have access to the newly implemented Group Health and Life Insurance Plan the first of its kind in Jamaica's history. Our farmers and fisher folks are the backbone of our country. It is they, our food heroes, who toil daily to put food on our table and ensure that our economy continues to move forward even in the face of a global pandemic. Despite the critical importance of farmers and fishers to every single member of our society, they have for years been excluded from our formalized financial sector. The reality for the vast majority of our farmers and fisher folk is that when faced with illness, significant medical expenses, or unfortunately death, there are no provisions to help alleviate that burden, especially on their families. I heard these cries firsthand as I embarked on an island-wide tour in October 2020. A number of our farmers and fisher folk spoke about the lack of insurance facility and the inability to provide security for them and their families. Subsequently, Madam Speaker, my team and I made the call for our private sector to step up and partner with us to provide insurance coverage to our food producers. That call, Madam Speaker, was answered by Sajikor. Minister Green further outlined the different aspects of the plan. Sajikor Agricare program, farmers who are registered with the Rural Agricultural Development Authority, RADA, and fisher folk who are registered with the National Fisheries Authority, the NFA, will have access to a group major medical plan, a full house plan, a critical illness plan, a personal accident plan, and a group life insurance plan. Importantly, Madam Speaker, dependents of farmers and fishers are also eligible for this program. Under the group major medical plan, farmers and fishers can have access to coverage for usual surgery and hospitalization and coverage for things like chemotherapy, radiation and dialysis. Under the full house plan, farmers and fishers will be, have access to a bundle of money that can be utilized to purchase certain primary care benefits. Under the group personal accident plan, insurance members or their dependents will have certain benefits arising from an accident. And the group life insurance plan provides coverage in the event of death of the insured member. This is a private sector initiative which is being facilitated by the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. It is such a core that has crafted these benefits and premium packages, while the Government of Jamaica, through the offices of RADA and the National Fisheries Authority, will assist in the sensitization and the enrollment. In his response, opposition spokesperson on agriculture and rural development, Lothian Cousins, in commending the Sajikor Group as well as Minister Green, cautioned the minister to also focus on the crop insurance scheme. Let me first begin by commending the team from Sajikor for taking such a bold initiative. The role of the private sector in assisting us to grow the sector, the agricultural sector that is, is very critical. And for the ministry to entertain this initiative, they should also be commended. So, minister, you are also to be commended. But the reality is, Minister, I will deal with both the farmers and the fisher folk in turn. Now, as it relates to the fisher folk, I'll start with them. Because such an initiative is very important for them. We have had instances in the past where fisher folk, fishermen have been lost at sea. And the reality is that the families have not received that benefit. Having, they having gone out to ply their trade. 
And so this type of initiative, particularly as it relates to the, the life insurance, is critical. Now for the farmers, it's also important, but the reality is, Minister, that I was hoping for you to speak some more about the crop insurance scheme. Because the reality is that the crop insurance scheme is what the farmers are looking forward to. We are happy for the life insurance and the group health. But when it comes to the farmers, their concern mostly is when they lose their crops, they are unable to benefit in some way. So you have to pay more attention to that. And I hope you speed that up to ensure that that is implemented in a timely manner. And still in the news, small and medium-sized businesses looking to take their operations to the next level and grow revenues are being invited to submit applications for participation in the Scotiabank Vision Achiever 2021 series, a 17-week business coaching program led by action coach Marcia Woon Choi. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the 2021 program will be offered virtually, but Participants can expect the same intensity and exposure from the insightful guidance of the expert coach. The 2021 participants will also receive attractive prizes from this year's sponsors, namely the Development Bank of Jamaica, DBJ, Ashley Home Furniture, the iCreate Institute, the Gleaner Company, and Trend Media. Prizes will include cash, business advertising value, training opportunities, gift certificates, and more. The program is open to any business, including companies which are not currently customers of the bank. To be eligible, applicants must either be a sole proprietor, partnership, corporation, or limited liability company in operation for a minimum of two years with an annual turnover sales of US $100,000 in the last fiscal year. Business owners should be above the age of 21 and Jamaican nationals in good credit standing. SMEs interested in being a part of the upcoming Scotiabank Vision Achiever program are invited to register online at www.scotiavisionachiever.com and include a paragraph of, of no more than 350 words describing why they should be selected and how participating in this program will benefit them. The deadline for submission is February 15, 2021. And that's our news package for you tonight. Thank you for tuning into Mello TV Evening News at 8. I am Tamar McHale. Stay safe and pleasant viewing.